Hello everyone. A viewer has asked Metatron to talk about homosexuality. I am one with my glorious I am presence. And Holy Christ Self. My personalities, body elemental, and new spirit. All parts of my being are in balance, harmony, and alignment. My aura is fully contained within my heart diamond and within Metatron's cosmic egg. I am now ready to receive today's message. Greetings, beloveds. Today's video is being recorded on Valentine's Day itself. And what a perfect day to address this question of homosexual or same-sex love. It is a bit astonishing to those of us in the ascended realms and beyond to see the limits that humans place on the expression of love. They are constantly inventing new ways to limit it. You can only love a person, they say, of the same race or of approximately the same age or of the same religion or of different sexes. Whatever these limits are, or rules and regula regulations, they are only imposed by an unawakened humanity, an unawakened consciousness. For within the light realms, there are no such limits imposed. In fact, to even be able to enter these realms, a fully opened and a fully loving heart is required. So if you want me to address this issue, I will have to say that from my point of view, all love expressed without ego is pure and divine, whether it is given to another human, or an animal, or plants, it matters not. But I believe that the question itself has within it an element of the rightness of sex between partners of the same gender. And once again, I will say that there is no sin involved. There is no crime involved. And it should be within the domain of the individual's own privacy 
that that decision as to who to have sex with should be made. For only the person involved will have to deal with the karmic repercussions of that decision. So I do not wish to tread upon the rules and regulations of different religions and organizations. If you belong to any of those religions or organizations and have willfully given over your free will in the belief that you will only get into heaven if you follow their laws, then you are, in a sense, bound by them. But remember, beloveds, you are free to leave any organization or religion that impinges upon your free will. I know this is not easy, especially for those whose spouses or close family are totally captivated and indeed captured by these particular organizations. Their belief is totally within them. But I say to you, beloveds, in your term, terms, when you come to the gates of heaven, or when you return to the karmic board, When you come to the place where you must answer for all that you have done on this earth, if you try and say, well, I did that because I was a part of that organization or because my wife made me do it, or if you try to shift the blame for anything that you have done to any other person or organization that simply will not be allowed. You are responsible for everything that you do. When one human being kills another and says, I did it because my government told me to, that does not make it a divine act. That does not make it in harmony with God's will. And that does incur a certain karmic debt from having taken the life of another human being. When God has said in so many ways, Thou shalt not kill. This is why, beloveds, it is very important for you to know your own heart and to follow your own heart. If you are living your life mostly from your mind and following the rules and regulations that you believe are correct, you are likely to incur great karmic debt because the way society is set up at this time, love, truth, 
honesty, kindness, are not valued at all. Most of society this day is based on competition, of getting the best of another person, of taking that which you need. And so if you are living in that world and in compliance with those laws, You are headed for trouble, beloveds, because you will have to pay back at some time all karmic debt incurred. So regardless of where you find yourself at this time in your life, begin to listen to your heart. Do what you know and you feel is the right thing to do, the divine thing to do in every situation. Even things as small as giving money to a beggar on the street. Ask your divine self, if that is the right thing to do. And ask all the more when it involves important questions as far as who you should marry, who you should have sex with, what job you should take. Your divine self wants very much to be involved in these decisions because it will guide you in the best fashion so that no more karmic debt is incurred so that you can pay off the debt that you have that must be somehow balanced before you can attain your ascended status and gain your true and rightful freedom. So beloveds, be not concerned if you are in a same-sex relationship or not. Be concerned about expressing your love and your divinity with whoever you choose to be with. If that person inspires you to be the best of yourself, if that person inspires you to be a loving human being, then that person is good for you regardless of what any religion, government, or person around you might have to say about it. Relax in the truth that God does not judge you for that. And in fact, has no opinion whatsoever. But God wants your happiness. God wants your love. So I hope this answers your question, beloved. Be love, be happy. Thank you for listening. I am Metatron.